The Five Nights at Freddy's movie has sort of had a resurgence recently. Many YouTubers, me included, have talked about the movie because there's been some significant updates. But while there's been little teases and theories coming about, nobody is really sure as to when the film will actually come out. But some people are theorizing it could be next year, or some even think it could come out in just a few months, so let's talk about that. The first projection that I've seen talked about is that this movie will come out late 2022. And while I'm more than open to being proven wrong, as of right now, this claim is absolutely no back behind it except for one source so if we look at what we have now the film was supposed to start filming like for real back in spring of 2021 under a script called the mike script the script was listed among a bunch of other ones on scott cawthon's reddit when he announced the film was being shot in spring where scott said in regards to the mike script that quote it's fun it's scary and it has a great central story this was all the way back in 2020 when this announcement took place and the problem with the script is that it actually did not happen in late 2021 we were told that the film Filming didn't happen and even worse the mic script was going to be entirely scrapped the problem with that being said that sort of honestly makes this 2022 theory impossible is that the movie first started being written in 2015 and the thing holding the film back is that scott had spent so much time on script writing along with searching for directors there's been other times previously where the film has entered deeper production going to places like warner bros and then blumhouse but scott wanted the film to be perfect so things were changed unless they were how he wanted them to be so with that being said if the script was scrapped literally just within the past year that would mean that within a few months a new script would need to be cleared filmed edited marketed and released and honestly there's no way that'll all happen when it's been years and we still haven't made any significant progress the one source i had mentioned that people were thinking revealed the fnaf movie is the scott cawthon instagram account eight weeks ago a scott cawthon instagram account had posted a photo confirming that the film would be coming in 2022 and then the account would say that the filming was midway through its progression after that, a few days ago, as of time of recording, the film was said to come out in winter of 2022 officially. However, the problem with this announcement and this entire account is that it's entirely fake. Whenever looking at this account, it may actually be pretty difficult to tell that this account is fabricated because every post gets tens of thousands of likes and the account has over 100,000 followers. So that's definitely a believable number of people. However, the problem is that Scott does not have an Instagram. And also, this account isn't verified, so that does look sort of suspicious suspicious but we can tell for sure it's fake because the user turned the comments off to hide from people calling him out none of the information lines up with what scott has said on real accounts like his reddit and i mean if you were the creator of the damn game you may not think to use a 144p fan made poster to advertise your work so people i'm telling you please don't believe anything like this just because it's misled a lot of people in my comments i would suggest reporting the account for impersonating but instagram forces you to name the verified account they're trying to copy but when scott doesn't have instagram Instagram, it's basically impossible. Anyway, enough about that little rant. Let's start to talk about some actual plausible theories for this game's release. The next thing I want to discuss is a real interview by Jason Blum just a few weeks ago about the movie. If you saw my most recent video on the FNAF movie, I showed part of an interview where the CEO of Blumhouse named Jason Blum had said that we were dangerously close to getting some new news for FNAF. On Freddy's, we are... We are dangerously close. I will say that we are dangerously Director, close. Everything. I'm just saying we're we're dangerously close wow. to to more news. Dangerously close. Okay. Um, so that could certainly be in 23. Now, this clip doesn't immediately tell us very much in terms of release dates, but pay attention to when he said, quote, so that could be in 2023. This could mean two things. One, that we won't be getting any news until 2023, or that an announcement could be on the horizon and we'll be getting the full film in 2023, and I actually think it's the latter option. People think that this big movie news he was teasing inside of this interview was what was going to be releasing in 2023 because he was on that topic, but I don't think that's the the case. This interview was entirely about new releases for upcoming movies, and in the rest of the interview, Blum had been throwing out all sorts of other release dates for other films in the same format, so I could basically confirm from an official source that this will be a 2023 film, at least in theory. The only thing is, Scott has been incredibly transparent about this film's progression up to this point, but as of right now, we haven't heard anything in the realms of new scripts or further production. This doesn't inherently mean that we couldn't be close to the film's release or anything, but with that being said, this could mean that this release prediction 
animation by Jason is being done before the script is done, before any filming, and before any official announcement. The news we are so dangerously close to, in my opinion, is probably going to be some official artwork that'll confirm this film is a 2023 release, with maybe even a teaser trailer if we're lucky, but that's just blind theorizing. I think that this release estimate given is assuming that the script goes to plan, which I wouldn't be too confident on quite yet because how many times have things actually gone to plan with this film? Clearly, Blum seems excited about this movie from his demeanor when talking about it, so we could know something that we don't in regards to the film's progression that could confirm that things are going better than expected. For prediction purposes, I'm actually going to take his word for it, so that means we have a range right now of sometime in 2023. But the next question is when in 2023? Because that could mean we are within just months of the title or well over a year. Well, in my opinion, I think it's a pretty clear answer overall, and it's honestly going to be very late 2023, let's be honest. Because realistically, most of the time when these release estimates are given, especially when it's as broad as a year-long range, people are often referencing the later parts of the time frames, and this one is especially the case. I mean, we are supposed to be getting an announcement as mentioned soon, which will surely give a release date or will be shortly followed by if things go to plan. But the fact that we are still within the point where this film hasn't ever even been officially announced tells me that there's no plans for it to come out within the next like 365 days or anything. Movies are not like video games where they come and go and update over time. The movie when it comes out will be big for a week, maybe even two or three, and after that naturally the film will fade away. It's just the life cycle of how movies work. So with that being said, those couple weeks when the film is relevant have to be the most hyped up couple weeks around the film in order for it to sell well. That's why I feel like there's no way the movie would come out anytime near the beginning of 2023 just because the movie isn't being talked about very much at the moment and not much has been revealed to give it any hype. If the film were to be completed, it needs time to be perfected and time to be marketed. So with that being said, when the film finally does get announced, there will probably be tons of trailers and teases leading up to the release date so there's more hype. The film won't get a random release date a few months out because it just doesn't work that way. Honestly, even if the film were announced tomorrow, I still feel like that's a pretty small amount of time to try and market a movie within just a year. So I feel like if I actually had to guess, this movie will be coming out winter 2023 to spring 2024 if everything goes correctly. We have ourselves the official release estimate of 2023 and we know that as of right now, the movie is in a minor gray area where we don't quite know what the film and script is going to look like anymore, so I definitely would lean to the later parts of this film release estimate. This is all assuming, by the way, that things end up going right, which as I mentioned before, things very much may not go that way. Because another smaller thing I didn't mention yet is that this film doesn't even have a director anymore. With the cancellation of the most recent Mike script, at the same time, the director Chris Columbus had left with it. And the reason for this supposedly is something to do with the fact that Scott wanted to make sure that everything was done his way. Which sort of calls back to the whole idea I mentioned before about Scott wanting to make sure this film is perfect. Scott doesn't want this to be some sort of cheap movie just there to make money. Especially since there's a lot of films about video games that end up that way. This movie has had countless scripts and really seems to have potential from these aspects. But the more critical Scott becomes with the movie, that also means the more issues that could come with getting it out on time. Scott has to absolutely love the way this movie turns out, obviously, but that's a hard task when you're trying to direct an entire team of people to fulfill your own personal vision. The previous inability to fulfill this movie's high demands are what have led to the delays in the past, and that could be a potential future issue as well as much as I don't want to admit it. If things don't end up perfectly, they won't end up coming out at all. So while my personal prediction of late 2023 could probably be accurate for right now, take that with a huge grain of salt because we just don't know if things are going to go to plan. But regardless, I hope that everybody watching this understands that as much as it sucks to wait this long, it's definitely reassuring to know that whenever there is finally a FNAF movie, it will undeniably be the best one that Scott would have wanted for the franchise. And I also hope that him retiring doesn't get in the way of things, because there hasn't been too many talks about the future of the movie as Scott steps away from making the actual games, but it seems like Scott is very passionate about this project and will at least ensure it goes in the right direction. When there's more news, I'll update you guys, but until then, check out this video that goes over the full history of the FNAF movie leading up to now. Subscribe and peace.